What's going on, Badger Nation? Welcome to the world's first and longest running podcast all about Amazon ads to make your Amazon advertising life a little bit easier and a little bit more profitable. You know what? For years on this show, I've talked about revenue per click based bidding. Bidding is by far the biggest lever you can pull on to influence your Amazon ads results. In fact, on this show in 2017, we started talking about RPC based bidding or revenue per click based bidding where you identify how much revenue a keyword generates per click so that you could bid in accordance to your target A cost. For a quick example, if you had a keyword that generated $500 of sales from 100 clicks, that means on average you generate $5 revenue per click. And if you wanted to target a 50% A cost, well then all you would need to do is simply bid 50% of that or 250, where you'd be generating $5 of revenue per click every single time and you'd be spending 250 per click every single time and you'd land perfectly at your target A costs. This is the basis of the bidding algorithm that we built here at AdBadger that touches 2 million bids a night. And what I'm really excited, long awaited, I've been waiting for this feature for quite some time, uh, is that now day parting is here, which means you no longer have one value to look at. You have 168, which are, which are of course the hours of the week, so 24 hours a day times seven days a week is 168 hours. So now that we have access to this data, we have to begin to ask ourselves, what are we going to do with it? In this video, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with it. Uh, I wanna build a heat map of my performance so I can visually see where I'm getting my sales on a grid of 168. Uh, then I want to summarize this. I wanna summarize each individual hour and I want to summarize the 24 hours of the day. And then I want to summarize the days of the week so that I can begin to bid more aggressively on areas that I convert better than average and decrease my bids on areas that I'm doing worse than my average level of performance. So it's incredibly important that we begin to use this data so that we can improve our performance over time. Just pure revenue per click is no longer enough in 2023 going into 2024, we need to begin to incorporate some degree of hourly data so that that, you know, that morsel of revenue per click, we can actually zoom in with a microscope and begin to really hone in on our truest levels of performance so that we can get more aggressively, get in a better position, increase our volume, increase our conversion rate by bidding more on the very, very best times. And of course, pull back on areas where the market just isn't converting in the weaker hours of the day. And with that, let's talk about my beginnings workflow uh, for this. We're not actually gonna create day parting rules just yet, just talking about what data we now have available. Let's jump in. So the first thing I'm gonna do when it comes to hourly product data is I'm gonna go ahead and select a product uh, and then create a heat map for that particular product uh, going back uh, any number of set weeks. So I want to use a multiple of seven, right? It wouldn't make sense for me to view uh, hourly performance for the month of September um, because I'd have more Mondays than I would. Uh, I would have more Fridays than I would Mondays in that case. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick a nice divided by seven date range. So in this case, I'm going to pick 63 days from August 6th to October 7th. And once I do that, I'm gonna create a heat map. And what this heat map will immediately tell me is essentially where my sales are happening or uh, where units are being sold for that particular product at that particular time frame. And what I've noticed after looking at about 50 products uh, in the last week or so is that there's a general trend for products on amazon.com. Uh, and what you see is essentially few sales happening from 11 to about 3 a.m. And then sales really pick up from about 7, 8, all the way until, you know, 7 p.m. Prime shopping times for Amazon.com. Now, the biggest pitfall with day parting has always been, well, what if I don't have enough data? You know, 168 units of time throughout the week is actually a lot of units to fill. Like if, what if I'm only getting 20 sales a week? 
you know, how am I supposed to spread that out? I'm gonna have so many pockets with zero sales and some pockets with like one, two, three, four sales. What can I actually do with this data? Is it enough data? So one of the things that uh, I do is I want to sort of group products by family. So what that, uh, what that can allow me to do, uh, I think so much of Amazon PPC is asking ourselves when to combine things and when to split them out. For day parting, because you have so many hours in the week, it's actually to our benefit to go ahead and look at product families and see when the sales are happening. So what I see here is a sort of a more distinctive heat map. Again, same trend, now I just have more sales data. So now when I look at four products, I have $29,000 in sales, whereas for that one product, I had about uh, $5,000 in sales, give or take. So I have a lot more sales, I have a lot more orders. So here I have uh, 1,800 orders compared to just that first one, which was, how many orders today? 340. So I'm able to sort of be a lot more confident with my day parting, uh, which is really cool. So if I view that hourly data, I see something that looks like this, which is great. And if I want, I can, uh, I can sort of see labels here, but I actually have a better way almost to sort of go in and evaluate the data and begin to get a sense of when am I doing better than average? When is my revenue per click going to be higher? So I'm going to scroll down and basically get to a table of a timestamp for the last, in this case, seven weeks, which is going to allow me to sort of see exactly when things are happening and zoom in on time frames where I'm just not getting any sales at all for the last seven weeks, which is really, really fascinating data. You know, for time frames where I'm not getting any sales for the last seven weeks, I'm going to want to know about so that I can sort of pull back on my advertising improve my ACOS during those hours, and then go more aggressive on times where I am converting better than average. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this data, and we're gonna jump into a free Google spreadsheet that you can use uh, to sort of poke around and play around with this data yourself. Alrighty, so I've just pasted it in this template. Uh, and when you get this template, just paste it in the gray areas here. You get the day, you get the hour, you get the total sales and units sold. The rest of the sheets will populate for you. So the first thing that I want to touch on is the summary of day of the week. This was one of the most fascinating areas for me. You know, we do the ACOS weather report most Mondays. Uh, and what that does is it looks at, you know, the 1200 marketplaces on AdBadger. And we began to notice these really distinctive trends on days of the week where the weekends are performing way differently than the weekdays. Uh, and depending on what kind of company it was, uh, would sort of say weekends are better or weekends are worse. In this particular case, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at day of the week uh, data just to sort of get an aggregate. So I see the sales broken down uh, for each day of the week, Sunday to Saturday. And what I can see here is, you know, that there is a pretty significant swing over the last seven weeks. You know, Sunday, uh, I have 5,700 in sales, um, whereas Monday, I only have 3,700 in sales. And then I can begin to sort of see what's my sales percentage of total. You know, I get 17% of my sales on Sunday, 17% on Saturday, but only 11% on Monday, which is 19% lower than my average, whereas Sunday is 24% better than my average. So already I'm beginning to learn. And you know, you might already anecdotally know this from just looking at your Amazon advertising account, watching the sales go up and go down on most days. What this allows you to do is add a little bit more confidence to that uh, assessment. We can sort of begin to see, okay, these are my sales on each day of the week. I can begin to make some decisions here. Then I wanted to go to a summary of the 24 hours of the day. Now, again, this is really interesting here, you know, because it looks like at uh, 1800 o'clock or 1700 o'clock, which uh, if you are not used to European or military time uh, is fi uh, about five o'clock. So sort of like after the work day finishes, I can see that my sales really drop. Uh, in fact, there's some time frames, you know, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11 o'clock, uh, where I have very, very few sales, or I'm doing way worse than my average. And then in other times, I'm doing a lot better than my average, which is really nice. So in certain hours of the week, uh, certain hours of the day, in this particular case, uh, you know, I have, I generate almost 8% of my 
total sales during that time frame. I'm doing 79% better than my average uh, during this time frame, which is really powerful information to know. You can begin to think about what this is going to do where I can go and say, hey, during this time frame, bid a little bit more aggressive. In this time frame, pull back a little bit. I want to optimize my ACoS, reduce my spending during this area, and I want to increase my spending during this other area. And then, of course, we can get a summary uh, of all the 168 hours. Uh, and you can begin to scroll through and begin to see some hot times and begin to see some cooler times. And what this is allowing us to do, and we can talk about uh, how to create day party rules in a later video. This is really just sort of opening up the surface of really what is available. Uh, I invite you to sort of poke around uh, and begin to notice on what days of the week do I do better than average? On what days of the week do I do worse than my average? What hours of the day am I doing better? What hours of the day am I doing worse? And then sort of begin to analyze that heat map uh, where you can begin to get a sense and begin to get a pulse of this hourly performance data. Uh, coming up in another video, we will talk about how to create day parting rules, both bidding up and of course bidding down. As you know that Amazon just released something that allows you to bid up, but I think the fact that they do not allow you to bid down nullifies that value because you can see how wildly different different hours of the day are and we're going to definitely want to bid down uh, during the weaker hours. So I'm really excited about that. If you have any questions about this, drop a comment. I absolutely love this new level of data. It's like we had one unit of data and now we just multiply it by 168 for every hour of the week. I'm really excited for the future of Amazon advertising. This is really going to supercharge the way that I do my bid optimization. Have a good one and I'll see you next week here on the PPC Den podcast.